to my channel so my name is Ashley for anybody that's new to my channel I do makeup tutorials vlogs reviews get ready with me fashion all things of those sort so if you're not subscribed to my channel please press the button right down below and please give this big video a big thumbs up please that would be greatly appreciated it's totally free to subscribe to my channel it's not costing you anything and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel and you so that you wouldn't miss any future videos that I post in the near future. So today's video is going to be on my makeup brushes. It's going to be my most used makeup brushes that I use on a daily basis. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to tell you where I got them. I'm going to probably tell you how much they are and all things of those sort if I kind of remember the prices. Or I'll give you a range of how much the prices are kind of like going to be if I don't remember the exact price. I'm sorry that I haven't filmed in a week. It's been quite a while. Like I've been so busy. Like I've been practicing and studying for exams because for anybody who's new to my channel, I do work in a school and I am continuing my career as being a teacher. So I am doing all of my exams right now so I've been really really busy with the exams and studying and trying to pass those things and that's really stressful for me because I'm not a good test taker so yeah I'm gonna do a whole video on like my career and everything that I'm doing and all those things so you guys could get to know a little bit more about me so if you want to see the most used makeup brushes that I use on my face every single day then just keep on watching So, the brushes that I'm going to talk about first are my eye makeup brushes. Most of my brushes are Sigma, which I love and I use very so often. I think I have a couple of Morphe brushes as well, but right in my hand right here, these are my most used eye brushes that I use on a daily basis. I use these brushes every single day. And actually right now they kind of need to be cleaned so I'm gonna clean my brushes right after this video and for anybody who does not know cleaning your makeup brushes is very very important if you do not clean your makeup brushes you will break out you will get blemishes you will get start to get acne it is very very bad to have dirty makeup brushes onto your face because that the dirt is bacteria and you're putting that on top of your face so that's not a good idea at all so make sure you clean your makeup brushes I at least try to clean my makeup brushes at least like every other week or so just because I wear makeup quite often in a week I would say I wear makeup maybe three or four times during the week so I really need to make sure my brushes are clean so that I'm applying makeup and the brushes don't have bacteria and stuff like that and I'm not breaking out when I clean my makeup brushes I use a Sigma Beauty brush pad that I will link right down below. It's the pink brush pad that I use and I lay it down in the sink and I sponge it around and if you've seen any of my previous video I have a video on cleaning my makeup brushes and you will see everything that I use in that video so just scroll down and find that video and you can see how I go about cleaning my makeup brushes because this video is about my most used makeup brushes not me cleaning them so on to the video so the first brush that I use very very often is this grayish black and it's it's very dirty I use this for my brows and it looks like this and this is a random brush that I got from iMats. If anybody doesn't know, that's the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And it's kind of like a convention for anybody that's into makeup. And you can go there and they have brushes, they have the top beauty lines, they have makeup. And you get everything at a more discounted price. It's really nice. Like, I haven't gone last year just because I gave birth to my son. It's just been a lot going on. So I haven't been able to go, but I usually go every single year. So that's where this brush is from. And I believe this brush was like 7 or $6. Really, really cheap. 
Um, the next brush that I'm gonna talk about is one of my Morphe brushes, and this is the, this is going to be the M330, and it looks like this. And it's very fluffy, and this is, this I use to go upon my crease. And this brush, I believe, was at least like $6 or $7 or something like that. Like, Morphe brushes are not expensive whatsoever, and they sell Morphe brushes in Ulta now. So you could get it at Ulta, or you could get it at Morphe.com, and it's the M330. And it's, again, a tapered blending brush. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is going to be another Morphe, which is a M332. And this is another blending brush, but it's not as fluffy, and it looks like this. And this brush also retailed for about $7, $8. They're kind of on the same range. And I use that for blending as well. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is from Sigma Beauty and this is my E35 and this brush is for blending as well if you notice I use a lot of blending brushes because I like to blend out my eyeshadow very very well and when you do eye makeup looks you need to make sure your eyeshadow is blended out very very well and you're using different brushes for every single color because if not then the look won't come out right because everything's like blending in at one time instead of doing it in steps so this is the tapered blending and this is the E35 and it looks like that and the next brush that I'm gonna talk about is another blending brush and this is my Sigma blending E25 and this one is more slimmer um, it looks kind of like an eyeshadow brush, but it's actually a blending brush. And it looks like this. And I use this also for blending. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is my concealer brush, which is the F70. And I don't actually use this as a concealer brush. I use this as a lid brush sometimes to pack on color. If I want to get an intense look, I use this to pack it on to make sure the look is intense. So this is what it looks like. Concealer brush from Sigma. And is it is the F70. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is a Sigma Medium Angled Shading Brush. And this is an angled brush. It looks like so. And it's a shading brush that I use to pack on product onto my lid whenever I'm doing an eye makeup look and this brush retailed for about $13 or something along the lines and I use this brush every day. The next brush I'm going to talk about is the 3D HD Precision and this is a pink brush because it's a part of one of the pink lines that I purchased it from and it's a tapered kabuki um, precision brush so I use this to put on concealer sometimes underneath my eyelid because it's nice and fluffy and is meant for concealer so I use this on a daily basis as well so I believe those are these are all my face brushes that I use on a regular um and it's not that many it's about eight brushes nine brushes oh, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about eight brushes that I use for my eyeshadows and stuff like that. So this is like awesome. So I will list them down below and I will list how much they are also on the bottom. So if you want to purchase any of these eyeshadow brushes, you're able to do so. I'm going to move on to my face brushes. So I have quite a few face brushes. These are all my face brushes that I use on a daily basis. So I'm going to start with the foundation brushes because that's just much easier. So the foundation brush that I go to all the time that is like my holy grail foundation brush that I use every day if I'm not using a beauty blender. And this is my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki and it looks like this. It has a pink brush handle and it's nice and fluffy and dense and I love it for my foundation and I use this every single day. I don't remember the price of this brush but I will definitely let you guys know. 
The next brush that I use is another Kabuki, which is the Taper Kabuki, the F86, and this is from Sigma as well, and it looks like this. And I use this brush for putting on concealer under my eye, like for like just blending it out. Sometimes I use this for under my eye, and I absolutely love this brush as well. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is going to be this Morphe Y9, and it looks like this. It has a gold handle, and I use this for face powder, for setting my under eye, for setting powder around my face after I do my foundation. So I use this brush brush mainly for powder from powder for powder foundation. I can't even talk. Oh my gosh, guys. I use this brush for powder to apply powder all over my face. That's what this brush is used for. The next brush I have is from my, the next two brushes is from the Real Techniques line and they look like this. So the little pink one is the brush that I use and this is called the sculpting brush and I use this brush for applying my contour every single day so I use this as my contour because it's angled and I like how dense it is so I just line it up here and I just do my contour with it and I do this side for my contour so this is the Real Techniques line they sell this at Ulta they sell this at a bunch of places so you will be able to find this brush and I believe that brush and this brush came in a set and this is another brush that I use for powder as well and this is the expert face brush and I use this for powder also for setting my powder and stuff like that. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is from my Kat Von D. It's a Kat Von D. It's dual sided, double sided. I use this brush for one side for, um, for powder also. And then this side I use for blush. This brush I actually got separate and I picked it up when I got the Kat Von D contour kit which I use almost every day. I love that as my as using for my contour and there's a Tarte palette that I also love to use for my contour also but I will do a video on all the bronzer or all the things that I like to use for contouring so that you guys could be able to see what I'm talking about and you can check it out on your own. So this is the double sided brush that I purchased when I purchased the contour kit and I absolutely love this brush. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is a Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush. This is another contour brush but I don't really use this as a contour because I feel like it's super fluffy. I use it for like setting my face or like fixing up anything extra like if I put too much um, highlight or too much blush I use this to like even it out so that's that brush and the last brush is from CC fashion brush and this is a fan brush that I use for applying my highlight and this brush I use every single day with every single highlight that I use and this brush I also picked up from IMAX as well the international makeup artist trade show so I didn't buy it online but there's a bunch of companies that sell like brushes like this for highlight so it shouldn't be hard to find so those are all my brushes that I use on a daily basis I use these brushes every single day these are my holy grail makeup brushes that I use to achieve my face and I absolutely love them so these are all my brushes right here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel I will be posting future videos and I would love if you guys would stay tuned and watch it. Thank you so much for watching my video, for showing my video some love. It means so much to me and I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them right down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.